Isn't this odd? It looks exactly like it did on the on the Game Boy one. What's up y'all and welcome to Pokemon Ruby Magma. It is a DS remake of Pokemon Ruby. I mean, I'm gonna start right now. Now, unfortunately, this is only in Spanish. So just pretend like you don't notice because we're, this is just to get a taste of how this game would have looked like back then. You see, a lot of people back then made all this fan art for... You know, this was around Black and White's release. Look, it's that freaking Pokeball push. Of how Ruby and Sapphire remakes were gonna look, you know? And we kept envisioning it with, like, Black and White graphics. This game pretty much brings that to life. So, you know how there's the whole discussion of whether 3D or... You talk a lot, man. But this is pretty much what it would, what it looked like. So, we're gonna play this. It's not very long. And we're gonna get a taste. And maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. Bien. Si. I know Spanish, dude. Llamas? Now, oh, Now, the... the. Oh, goodness. Wait, hold on. This is more in the style of Ruby of uh, Diamond and Pearl. Shut up, boy. There's Asignado. Oh, look at this. Wow. Okay, guys. So, this is what you have to do. You have to imagine. Wait, but Gen 4 gave Harkle and Soul Server. This is a bit hard to imagine. Okay, so I think it is black and white-like. But they just, uh, they just use the same home or something. Oh my god! So it's like, okay, it's like kind of heart gold, platinum, but you see the, the way this guy looks? It, no, it's black and white. So, oh my god, this is so weird. You know, if, if, how do you even play this game? You gotta go up here. I gotta, I gotta go to the wife. I mean, the, my, my, she's not my wife. What the frick? I gotta go freaking peek on her or something. Why do I remember this game? She's not here? Guys, imagine this is what we got. You know, it would have brought more life to the black and white era because they're the only games on that system. No Oblos? How could you not Oblos when it's... Damn, okay. So yeah, it's just a demo to get a taste of the graphics, but it would have brought more life to that black and white era because we would have a familiar Pokemon game to compare the graphics to. This is kind of crazy. Well, I wonder what the stars will be. Now, obviously... Uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are much better than this. They kind of hit the the sweet spot for like between three. They kind of hit the sweet spot between. Wow, it it it, it kind of trips you because it's a mix between like Gen Five and Gen Four. What the frick, like play Kahaje, play Hahe. That's Taco. But yeah, I kind of the sweet spot between 3D and, and 2D. So the X and Y and Auras games are, are really fun. I don't think the discussion is too much about them aside from the way the Pokemon models look, you know, all unsaturated and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go to the lab. What if this was all the demo was? I'd freaking not upload this. Teacher Hat, Rekubile, he's giving me Mudkip right here. He's supposed to take me back to the lab. Oh my frick. Okay, you need to stop talking to me. This is something we never... This is something we never got in... <laughs> in Auras. Wow. Man, so if like the year was 2011... And you got Koro Koro scans of this? Jeez, imagine this. Okay, so we gotta go up here. You know, this is kind of giving me flashbacks, man. This is what I love. You know, like when Pokemon was like really getting their feet wet in 2d when you would go over buildings and it would be 3d like this like in platinum and heart gold it used to blow my mind and then they took it to some is it you can go right wow could you imagine you could go right like they added areas if this was made by game freak and they added a bunch of stuff please no pokemon look at me wow she looks like a breeder her name is aura oh my god Oh god, she just looks like she doesn't auras. <laughs> Once black and white remakes come up, people people who weren't fans of Gen 5 will grow to like it. There's just something about the way the graphics looked when black and white came out that made people feel unfamiliar. At least that's my theory why the fan base is so split. Alright, I have to go back and get my Pokedex. Can I just go to the left? Blessed. Wow. This is it. What even are those silcoons in the tree? Hey, this is <laughs> this is cool. What? Is there something in the tree right here? I thought I saw something. 
So, let's see. Oh, no. Don't fight me, man. Okay. So, yeah. This game was made by some developers that are making a game called Light Platinum DS right now. I could show some screenshots. It looks good. I hope it comes out in English, though, because I'm not fighting you, okay? And I'm not fighting... I thought that was a freaking Ladius. Doesn't that sound like something that would happen? Like, they, just as an Easter egg at the very start of the game, whether you're playing Ruby or Sapphire, you'd see Ladius or Ladius just fly by once. Hey, no, no. You know what's interesting, though? Like, as we've come to whatever this year is now, 2023, people are really bringing out the limits to BDSP. And they're making... They're kind of fixing what Game Freak started, so they've cleaned up everything, like uh, the Pokemon following you. They fixed all those animations. They even tried making like full chibi, uh, like half chibi models instead of the mini chibis we have. So that kind of might become the new base for ROM hacks. Could you imagine? Like, think of all the ROM hacks, even like Insurgents, right? BDSP is so like so much of a sandbox game for people to edit that. The next gen of fan games would probably be on BDSP, which in a weird way makes Game Freak's <laughs> tragic Diamond Pro remake kind of a blessing. But I think we're... Can you just die, Shroomish? Why is Shroomish in English? So it's, it's kind of a blessing, but we're going to need a couple years probably for it to catch up. And we saw how, how some stuff could be... Just kill it. Just kill the Mudkip. How much? Bolsa? 8 HP. We saw the general potential in Extreme. That was really sick. We had like custom events and all that. Where's Barry's? Uh, Wally's house is like this, right? Man, Wally has a whole cousin. It's not you, is it? Combat the Conta Norman Unvez. I just want to see Namona here. Oh, Norman's in there. Am I just going to skip past Norman? <laughs> so yeah, this, this game is just really to show how things would have been. Can't you go down from here? Yeah, what the frick? He's stuck down. Wow, they redid this place. Hey, this is like how Game Freak would have Oh, this is Bryony. There's Godkeeper Bryony. Darn, man. So I have a question for you guys. Perla Grant, Big Pearl. What do you guys think of... I, mean, I want to make a video on this, but what do you guys think of if they demade games? So think of your favorite... Ooh, the water edge looks nice. Think of your favorite generation to play on for me i think i liked okay well let's not talk about what i like but let's say just gold and silver right so kind of like undertale if game freak can you let me go if game freak d made like let's say black and white or let's say maybe like x and y and they released it for like 14 bucks and it was in gold and silver graphics as like a nintendo switch you know online purchase at this point where the whole world is kind of too ahead to go back to gold and silver graphics. So maybe we can say like black and white graphics, right? Let's make that the D make. Let's make that the D make standard. So let's take like X and Y. Sun and moon. Sword and shield. Shut up, man. And imagine they D made them in black and white graphics. But they maxed out all the capabilities. So like it was a powerhouse of a game. Pokemon following you. They they translate the gimmicks over perfectly. Darn. That would be really cool. You see, the only issue is like... Is what I said earlier. That they would have to make it... Please move. That they would have to make it a cheaper price. And so if they'd have to make it a cheaper price, why would Game Freak make it in the first place, you know? This, this whole point of making Pokemon games is they're making... They're trying to make money. Ooh. Remember when we first saw it, like these uh, moving clouds? Pokemon Platinum? Man, that was cool. It's over here. Isn't this the place where Xenia is like looking at us? Mini Seta. Mini Sedative? Mini Seta. Mini, mini Potion. Mini Shroom. But I think that'd be cool, dude. I think... See, if Game Freak... What Game Freak could do though is they can delegate it to a different company. Pretty much how they did BDSP. So if they just got a couple companies under their belt. One that specializes in... That's what you call it in Spanish? Is that the Great Ball? The freaking Super Ball? Listen, after some rumors that the Master Mom might break out, you know, in, you know, obviously not confirmed, the Super Ball sounds even better than the Master Ball. Like the Super Master Ball. Maybe that's what they would call a Super Master Ball. Literally a Super Master Ball. Wow. This place has been redone too. Hey, this whole back section is. Whoa! All this? What is this? One little pond? One little towel pond? There's so many passion- I thought those was a freaking Zangus. Like, just look at this. Look at the Pokemon in the overworld and all. There's so many passionate ROM hackers. 
But the issue and the reason, like for example, like the battle screen here is just platinum. They haven't changed anything. It's because all ROM hackers have to work for free. You know, it has to be a passion project. So if, if Game Freak kind of like how they hired Toby Fox, which isn't like the exact same scenario, but if they like hired people who are passionate, they could they could sort these things out. They can make the people like, for example, uh, Suzerain who made Pokemon Insurgents, they could give this man an official position to go with the passion he put into his game. Is it worth me getting that freaking Pokeball? Dude, that's kind of sick to have all these... I can't talk to you? Have all these statics in the overworld. The Super Potion. Alright, so I, I should not have come this way. It's going to take me a bit to... Ooh, there's no grass right here. Oh, huh, that was easy. I like this. I like the little additions they made. We got berries over there. What do we even get in there? Let's see what it looks like in here. The Pit Mini Flower Shop. It's weird. I can remember exactly how I felt playing Extreme at this point. See, right here in Alpha Sapphire, right on this bridge. That's the end. <laughs> right on this bridge is where Damage almost died to a double battle. Gracias por Jua. Freaking Shaman? I freaking just heard a Shaman. I think Gracias for Puta. <laughs> Censor that. <laughs> what the frick? How did that come out of my mouth? I heard a Shaman. Is there a Shaman in the area somewhere here? That, that, that empty bridge kind of reminds me of the Oaks letter crap. You see, only freaking like Pokemon fans do this. You know, they make use of Game Freak's mythicals and legendaries. They make better events than Game Freak. Fuck, there's a freaking Shaman right here. Un, un. Why would Shaman be in freaking Oraz though? It's to do with the flower shop vibe and all. Like, you know, Game Freak, they made, like, the legendary montage of you just going and catching all the... This thing's gonna kill me. D of you just going and catching all the legendaries in the game. If instead they gave that project to a fan, they would probably make cool events for all the legendaries. Like, what's his name? Drayano60 in... The games were called, like, Pokemon Volt White and... Des Sorolo and Blaze Black. They made actual locations for all the legendaries, and some of them had events. You know? It, and if you think about it, it doesn't take that much effort to just put the leg. I understand what that means. Don't kill me. Like, like, sucker, this is war. I will catch that shaman. I'm going to the shop. Oh, goodness. I can't catch you with Pokeballs. Oh my god, it's called an honor ball. <laughs> Dude, a premier ball is an honor ball. Alright, I think I'm ready. Alright, I've been training Mudkip at the start of this forest. There's also this section to the right. Mucho gracias, he says. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Look, we got the moss rock over here. And then this section here. Is this anything important? No. Maybe a master ball? Alright, you see that one super ball? I have to save that <laughs> for the ultimate chance at catching that shaman. You know what I might have to do? I might have to catch a Rumple because it'd be resistant to what grass. I picked the worst, the actual worst starter. The only typing the Shaman can Oko me with. See, look at this. Even this looks good. Pokemon Falling is one of the best things. I don't know how these guys got rid of it for the entirety of black and white. Hmm, you guys like what you see? Hey, how do you guys like the look of that? Now, is Shaman still there? Okay. That was so stupid. I just trained forever without checking that. All right, this is what we'll do. I'll attach a citrus berry to one of these Pokemon. Which one of these would be citrus? Frick it, just attach Oran berries. Dar. All right, we've darred them both. So my dudes, only one shot at this, okay? If I don't catch it this time, it's over. This is my strat. I'm gonna <laughs> poison it because that's the only status I can think to give it. And I'm gonna spam balls and hopefully it goes in. Yo, Beautiful is nice, dude. I've got a fully evolved Charizard on my team. So weird how the bugs evolve so fast, huh? I shame! You have a Grace City, right? Okay, I just wanna check the rock right there. No Grace City, okay, let's go. Un, un. What does that even mean? Pokemon Legends Shaman. What do you think they would do if we had to revisit Sinnoh again? You know, freaking 15 years later. We're revisiting Sinnoh again. If they made another Legends game, 
This is Poison Sting. What do you think? Pokemon Legends Shaman? Pokemon... If we had to use one of the Pokemon that were already in the Pokemon Legends Manaphy? Darkrai. Nah. Oh, nah. It should just be Giratina. Nah, we already know Giratina's story. Hey, you need to get pair poisoned right now. Yes! It's time. You... F <laughs> Wait. No, you have natural cure. How did you... That's a freaking Lumberry. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't run. Bolsa. Pokeball. Remember, the Super Ball we save for it's at red. And then we use the Honor Balls when it's at yellow. Here we go. It's like a three catch rate, right? There's no sh I was hoping they made it easier. Oh, yeah, Magico. Wow, that did a lot of damage. All right, Honor Balls. Fine. Tita Uso. Honor Ball. I've done it. If it Despacitos anymore. Come on, let me go out with a good bang. All right, so we're, we're going upright. So one, now three wiggles you have to do. Didn't even need the Supreme Super Master Ball. Atrapo. Atrapado. Yeah, esta. Shaman atrapado. Los datos de Shaman han registrado en la Pokedex. The Pokemon Gratitude. <laughs> in an alternate world, you find this in Route 1 and you don't give it a second look. Bruh, for some reason, it's a legendary here. See, now I finally have something strong against Shaman. This thing is a beast, dude. Hoya Magico. Hey. Anyhow, dudes, make sure I'll shank that like button. Let me know the answer to the question before. You know, 2D versus 3D. Obviously, Aura is just better, but which one do you think captured, like, the soul of Pokemon better? Not necessarily which one do you think is graphically better, but make sure I'll shank that like button. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.